Hello, and welcome uh, to this segment of Professor Alexander Dugan of Moscow State University continuing lecture series in the Open University format on ethnosociology. This week's lecture will focus on the concept of the other in ethnodynamics. Thanks. Professor Dugan. So now we are going to discuss what is ethnokinetic aspect of the atlas. So uh, we have um, started uh, that ethnos as a social form uh, tends to be equal to itself and stable and uh, identical to itself. It is ethnostatic aspect. But in the reality, there are always some factors and some events, uh, some situation that uh, represent a kind of danger to the conservation of the stability of the ethnos, and that demands uh, to be repaired, to be answered a uh, as a kind of challenges. Uh, and that represents a dynamic aspect of ethnic existence. But tending to be always equal to itself and static and dealing with some fluctuations and some micro changes uh, in a kind of ethnodynamic, uh, in uh, both cases uh, the structure main structure of ethnos is the same. Uh, it, uh, that does not change. But there is a point in the ethnic, ethnic existence when this stability could not be longer maintained. So it uh, is a kind of uh, important change and irreversible change in uh, the ethnic structure. So that is a moment when ethnic static structure begins to change irreversibly. So it is um, a very special point in ethnic, um, uh, ethnic existence when the structure begins to move. Uh, we call it ethnokinetic. Uh, from word, uh, Greek word um, kinesis, the movement. So, ethno-kinetic aspect of ethnos represents important change in the ethnic structure that ceases to be the same, equal and identical. Uh, and that represents a kind of split of ethnic structure and beginning of um, irreversible processes in the ethnic life. Uh, we have described ethnic structure as something that does not know the, the figure of the other. The other doesn't exist. Uh, it is a kind of benign nothing or uh, something that is integrated immediately when appears on the horizon of the ethnic attention, ethnic attention. So uh, the, the the other is uh, uh, does not exist in the ethnic vision of the reality. All aspects of the reality is the same. Uh, they aren't. Uh, they give. Um, not uh, they doesn't give the possibility to be regarded as something other. All is included in the ethnic structure, and so the other has no place in uh, ethnic conception of uh, the world. And this uh, condition is basic for uh, the definition of the ethnos as social form of existence or the form of society. So the change 
a reversible change is excluded in the ethnic because when it uh, occurs, uh, the ethnos ceases to exist as such. It becomes something other than ethnos. So, uh, ethnokinetic studies precisely this transitional state of ethnos ceasing to be itself and beginning to become something other than ethnos, something more complicated and organized differently. So, when we speak about ethnokinetic, we mean, we understand by that, that we uh, begin to study how ethnos ceases to be the ethnos uh, and begins to become something other. And most important event um, uh, in ethnokinetic is the appearance, manifestation, the manifestation of the figure of the other as other. So, the other uh, manifests itself in the ethnos, in front of the ethnos, inside of the ethnos, and outside of the ethnos, and something that uh, has, that possesses uh, independent existence, being, and ontological and gnosiological uh, presence. So, when the other presents itself to the ethnos, ethnos immediately ceases to be uh, the same as it uh, presumably always was and is and will be as ethnos. So, it is the point of the, um, of, of, of the end of the continuous, uh, the continuous uh, uh, ethnic life. So, uh, when the other appears, manifests, manifests itself, the ethnos begins to react. And the reaction of the ethnos against the figure of the other, of the existing other, and not, not existing other, uh, the other that imposes itself at something that ethnos could not include, could not assimilate, could not, uh, uh, could not appropriate. So, it represents a new kind of society when, uh, that we could describe as society that is not absolutely close. The ethnos is closed society uh, that all, all things exist inside of it. There is nothing, uh, 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 nothing uh, outside of it. And when appears the other, this ethno-sociological structure begins to open itself. It uh, is not open, but it is uh, um, not homogeneous. There is a point of the uh, kind of uh, end of, the con uh, of continuity. Uh, disruption uh, of, um, of, of the uh, ethnic continuity. And that changes absolutely the socio uh, sociological structure of the ethnos. Open ethnos is not anymore ethnos as such. It is a kind of, of transition from ethnic stage to the uh, other kind, uh, kind of society that we will study later and that we call Laos, a Greek word Laos or people. So, ethnokinetic uh, ethno is the process f that uh, transforms uh, the ethnos into the Laos, into the people. 
And then that the most important point is the uh, manifestation of the other. The, when ethnos uh, begins to deal with the other, other, the other, uh, as or something that is substantial, ontologically uh, significant, uh, so that represents a kind of uh, uh, the evil for the ethnos, and that uh, that uh, change changes absolutely uh, ethnic uh, attitude to itself and to the nature around it. So when the ethnos meets uh, the other, uh, there begins a uh, new uh, kind of uh, ethnic, uh, ethnic existence. There begins uh, a kind of actual time and history and dual morality uh, and uh, the malign uh, death. Um, that, uh, that is a kind of the death that is not uh, the stage of eternal return, but the point of no return. The, uh, there appears uh, the death as we know it as something irreversible, as something quite opposite to the life, because in the ethnos, in the ethnic conditions of social existence, the death, death is the other side of the life. And the, the deads are half uh, other part, other half of the ethnos. So the ethnos consists from the living and the dead as of two half of the same. And circulation of the souls of the per persons uh, of, of, to, from the life to the death uh, and from the death to uh, the life as a kind of everlasting, uh, uninterrupted process. Uh, when the dead, death, uh, bad, evil death appears, there uh, 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 there ceases uh, this um, uh, uninterrupted uh, circulation of the same. Eternal return stops. There is a kind of history that begins. Uh, there is a kind of linear actual time and um, the other represent now the most important uh, point and the focus of ethnic or post-ethnic life. So, uh, when the ethnic society uh, meets the other, that is a kind of challenge that could not, could not be easily repaired. So, to repair the appearance of the other, in order to re uh, repair the appearance of the other, uh, in order to, to win uh, when uh, that death, the evil death, in order to uh, r restore normal condition, uh, the um, usual uh, ways uh, and uh, conventional instruments uh, aren't uh, uh, enough uh, and uh, sufficient anymore. So uh, the, the appearance of the other uh, on the horizon of the Athens is a kind of catastrophe that should be dealt by exceptional means. So it is a kind of exception, the situation of emergency that um, uh, uh, that uh, comes, that uh, arrives, and uh, the Athens, the ethnic society, should react by extraordinary. Mm, ways uh, to deal with this appearance of something that has no secure place in the ethnic closed system of the signs of the uh, symbols of the uh, words of the things. So, 
uh, the uh, the um, uh, the meeting the meeting with the other requires extraordinary response from the ethnos and this kind of response uh, is not given is not granted for ethnos so ethnos should imagine something new to deal with the other that didn't exist before and that is a kind of appearance of completely new figure in the ethnic society that we could call hero hero of uh, the ethnic society that uh, is uh, that should deal with a uh, new kind of danger basing on some uh, stage of emergency so the hero appears when uh, there come in, to the ethnos the state of uh, sta state of emergency and uh, this figure of the hero is not only response, ethnic response to the uh, challenge of uh, irreparable change or appearance of the other, but also uh, it is a kind uh, of reappearance of the other inside of the ethnos. I mean that the hero is also the other because to deal with the other you in order to deal with the other you should be other yourself that is logic of the ethnic ethnic society and beginning of the ethnokinetic process so the hero is something that didn't exist in the ethnic uh, ethnostatic or ethnodynamic stages of the et ethnic, uh, ethnic life. It is something completely new. It, uh, it should struggle against the other, but at the same time is also something other than before, something completely new, because to win the new you should, uh, you should be Yes, uh, should have something new in yourself. So the hero, the hero is a kind of interruption of ethnic continuity because it is a kind of response to the challenge of the interruption. Uh, so it is that could not be shaman because shaman is the figure that repairs that could. Uh, success in, re in repairing uh, minor uh, problems and challenges that are in inscribed in the realm of the Aetna dynamic. Um, it is a kind of uh, figure that grants the ethnic continuity in the normal situation. Uh, but uh, dealing with the sta this, uh, state of, of the emergency, uh, it is a kind of completely new person that doesn't uh, represent the status quo, but is uh, the, 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 the figure that should deal with uh, that something extraordinary. And this figure also is it's in itself extraordinary. It is not ethnic. Is not anymore ethnic in the full sense of the word. Uh, word. It's something that it manifests in the ethnos, outside of the ethnos, uh, and also above or below of the ethnos. It is kind of central for the ethnos with, uh, in the process of dealing with the periphery, but not the benign periphery, that is a kind of benign nothing, but uh, that should deal with hostile periphery that begin to be something and not nothing. And when the periphery uh, be, uh, uh, becomes something, so there should be completely, uh, that should appear completely new kind of center, the center that could deal with the 
uh, with the aval periphery. And dealing with aval periphery that now represents danger, it should act in, uh, in a new, new manner as before. So it should fight and that is the figure of the warrior or the figure of the chief or of military chief of the tribe that represent uh, already the other in uh, the ethnos. So now we are uh, in the context of the ethnokinetic because uh, ethnos enters here a new phase of, uh, of continuous uh, struggle against the danger, against the other. And uh, the importance of the hero, of the, the warrior and of the chief grows when the figure of the other grows. But that is not the process of reaction against the other. That is also inner process of the inner split of the ethnic society and the appearance of the other as the chief and the, the, the figure that is a kind of the other point of authority uh, beside the shaman. So that is a completely new kind of organization of the ethnos, not around the shaman, as something imminent to the ethnos, that, uh, that is the same as the ethnos, the, the shaman is the ethnos. Uh, and it's continuous uh, equality to itself, and it's continued homogeneous identity, but the military chief of the tribe, of the ethnic group, is something completely other. It represents the response against extraordinary uh, danger, and that also is a kind of risk, risky figure. So, uh, for example, uh, there are many, many, uh, many sorts, many types of sacred kings that are fed uh, and given um, uh, possibility to live with uh, um, uh, goods and the products, extra products, uh, extra wives. But uh, uh, when the situation of some real challenge or danger for the society arrives, uh, these sacred kings are uh, killed ritually as a kind of exchange against the intrusion of the other. The, they are called uh, uh, rain kings. The kings that uh, are responsible for rain to fall and when, uh, for example, there is a period of absence of the rains, uh, if they persist, the rain kings are killed ritually in order to restore, to give back this person to, to the reason, to, to, to the other. So it is a kind of commerce with the other, that represent also something that ethnic group could not manage by the natural and uh, customary means. So, it is one, uh, one point, but also there is a kind of in, in new understanding of the war that arrives with the other, because uh, in a uh, normal situation of ethnostatic and ethnodynamic uh, phases, phase of uh, ethnic existence, the war is consider, considered as ritual of the assimilation and integration of other tribe. For example, uh, after killing uh, the fools, 
um, the, the, the tribe, uh, for example, eat uh, their corpse, uh, takes their wives to the family and um, accepts the children as the person of the same tribe. So the other is uh, integrated in the, the same. So it is a kind of restoring the wholeness and the integrity of the same. So the other is, in this uh, situation, in, uh, integrated. And that is very important that uh, in ethnic, uh, ethnostatic uh, stage, there could not be slave, because all the men of the um, uh, hostile tribe are killed and eaten. It's very important. They are integrated fully and they enter in the tribe. At least that is a kind of mythical uh, sense or in the legend, in the um, consciousness of uh, the tribe. And there is no possibility to have the slave, the figure of the slave, because the slave is the other that is in the tribe. And that is excluded from ethnostatic uh, context of the society. And the slave appears exactly in the ethnokinetic stages of ethnic existence. When you bring the slave as a warrior or man of the hostile tribe in your, your tribe, so which social status um, has it? In the normal situation there is no, no uh, social status for these uh, social type because it could not be regarded as the man because all men are the men of this uh, tribe that could not be regarded as a uh, child, as woman and, and so on. It's something that also it could not be regarded as the dead uh, whose uh, power, uh, life power uh, you, you could use to reinforce um, uh, the energy, uh, life energy of uh, the ethnos. So it is something that falls from any kind of social, uh, social type. And that is the reason why in the ancient Egypt these slaves were called living deads. Living deads because they should be killed being uh, the warriors of the hostile tribes, tribe, but they are not. So they are logically, they are dead, uh, dead they are dead, but uh, physically they are not. So they are living, but they are dead. This contradiction introduces the other in the society. And that is also very important, important uh, change in the ethnos. So the ethnos, when it has, has these slaves, uh, is equal to itself, but also it, there is something that is, that is not part of itself. That is something other. The slave is not living, is not human, is, has not social status, of, uh, has no gender, has no age. Uh, so that is the reason why uh, um, in some taxonomies these slaves were called children or uh, wives. For example, they were obliged in some situation to wear uh, woman dresses or uh, be mutilated in the special manner because they were sacred object, sacred in all the sense. They were other, they were completely different. They were 
logically and ontologically outside of the tribe. So that is a kind of social stratification that begins here. And the first point of this stratification is the existence of the living dead inside of the society. So there is not only one ethnic society, homogeneous as it was the case in the uh, ethno, ethno static or ethno dynamic stages. There are two societies the society, normal society, and the other inside of it. Uh, the uh, economical uh, uh, role of the slave is highly um, overestimated. Uh, usually, they, these slaves were not so important for economic life of neither society, uh, including in the situation in, in the great ancient civilizations where, uh, where uh, the work of the slaves uh, was uh, used on the large scale, always uh, statistically that didn't represent more than some two, three person, percent of the whole econo economic uh, production because the majority in all traditional society of uh, the richness uh, of uh, this society um, uh, was made by the farmers, uh, the traditional situation, and only um, very re relative and uh, uh, little, very small part of that uh, uh, was uh, uh, due to the work of the slave. So the slave were not economical factor, but sociological factor. And sociologically, it was very important for the ethnos, uh, ethnic group to have the slave because it was a kind of transition, beginning of transition from the ethnic homogeneous stage to heterogeneous situation when the other is inside of the society. In being very, uh, without any economical or physical importance, it introduced logically the other inside of the society. So it helps to the society to be open. So there is something that is not human, that is not eth uh, ethnic, that uh, is a kind of the other inside of the society. So society is endangered by the slave. So that is the death that is introduced in the society. The death uh, without return, the evil death, because the slave is evil. And so uh, the normal people, uh, ethnic people, should prevent themselves from the evil being inside it, should separate themselves. So should uh, create a kind of right of purification from the other. It is the slavery as very important, important um, sociological aspect of, 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 of the society because it is a kind of situation when the human is regarded as an object. Uh, there is alienation of the human being, uh, alienation from the ethnos is the same as the alienation from the human, because in the ethnic society, the, the human is the same as the ethnic. So that's something that belongs to the tribe, to the community that is uh, ever uh, uh, encompassing uh, um, whole integrity. We have Evil death as the challenge from the periphery, uh, a kind of uh, challenge to the ethnic uh, ethnic uh, situation. It could be natural disaster. It could be 
uh, a kind of war with uh, a hostile tribe that could be uh, could be recognized as the other. It is the appearance of the military chief of the tribe that also dealing with the other is considered to be the other on the high uh, post of the society dis uh, disputing this high position with the shaman that represent the authority of completely different kind in uh, concurrence with the uh, military chief military chief and there is the uh, slave on the basis in the lowest point lowest level of the society so that is precondition to ethnic uh, ethnic uh, uh, ethnic society to cease to be itself so it is a, a precondition to radical and irreversible change in something other so the homogeneity of the atlas is endangered from all possible part from above with uh, the existence of the type of the military chief that is the other than the other uh, members of society the danger from outside that acquires acquires uh, ontological status and that there is the living death in the persons uh, uh, of the slaves that re that represent a new uh, um, the new level for the ethnic homogeneity so the ethnic st structure ethnic society begins to be heterogeneous and not anymore homogeneous dealing with the other and that is transitional stage when the ethnos ceases to be ethnic society and begins to uh, to be something more than ethnic ethnos or something other than ethnic society so uh, in ethnokinetic stage we could individuate in the ethnos something that makes the ethnos uh, the ethnos as before but also there are some added features to the ethnic whole that are completely new so coexistence of this identity with this alterity uh, is uh, could be regarded in the ethno sociology as ethno kinetic stages of uh, social changes so after that when all these processes will uh, acquire full development there will be no anymore the ethnic society there will be new kind of society we call it people society or the Laos, uh, Greek word Laos. But uh, before arriving of this moment of radical and irreversible change from the Athens into the Laos, there is beginning of preparation of this of this uh, change uh, as the manifestation of the figure of the other in uh, three most important vital point of the ethnic existence and ethnic um, understanding of uh, of the life of the reality of the universe of the nature and of the society itself so uh, there is a kind of Mm, possible creation uh, of the warrior aspect of uh, the ethnos. The ethnos in the static and uh, the dynamic uh, state 
is peaceful. So to be in the peace, uh, that means that to be the same. The peace is the conservation of the same and the absence of the challenge of the real danger of irreversibility. So to be in the peace, that, is, that means to, uh, to be secure, to be sure that nothing irreversible will, will, would occur. So to be in danger, uh, it is th that that uh, is a kind of presumption that something irreversible could uh, arrive. So there are two points, two kinds of the societies. Peaceful society as ethnic society is always the same and considered and conceived by its its member as always similar and always equal, identical. So it is a, a condition for the peace. So always there will be, will be the same and that means peace. The same, it means peace. And when the other appears, that is a kind of war. And passing from the peaceful consciousness to the warrior consciousness, to the uh, new kind of psychology, to new, uh, it is very important change in the ethnic structure, because that is also the shift from the shaman as the figure of the proto priest to the um, military chief as a proto king or uh, figure of the uh, military, uh, military, mi military chief of um, uh, of the warrior uh, uh, of the warriors, and two conceptions of the society. Peaceful society is ethnic society with the shaman that is not the chief, religious chief. It is considered to be the center. It is not uh, the position of the shaman is not above the ethnos, in, inside of the ethnos, it's the same as the center of the ethnos. The shaman is the ethnos as such. And this is a condition of peaceful existence. But there is also uh, the, the figure, new figure, completely new figure of the chief or the king. That is completely different structurally and sociologically. It, uh, the chief, is above the, the uh, society. It's considered to be something alien to the society because dealing with the aliens and with the outside, uh, outside danger and challenges, challenge, challenge. So, and there is also uh, the uh, the kind of the, of, uh, of danger or of, uh, alien figure. Uh, on the lowest uh, level of the society, that uh, uh, is the figure of living dead of the slave. So, the slave is the product of the war put inside of, uh, inside of the society, is also the living, manifest, obvious result of the war. The war with the slave is introduced in the society as the challenge is a kind of danger that is represents as a declaration of war. The chief of the society is, uh, its most important function is to lead the, the war and the slaves also are the results of the war because the, the slaves, they, uh, their origin is in the war. So there is the shift from the peaceful society to uh, the warlike society, to the warriors society, military society. And uh, if the normative uh, status of ethnic society is peaceful, 
So normative, new normative of the ethnokinetic society is a kind of war. That is the society that is always in the war, that is presided by the chief of the warriors and uh, on the lowest, uh, or lowest level there are also the you know, obvious um, results of uh, the previous wars, the slaves. So there is a kind of social stratification that uh, uh, now is inside of the society because there are two kinds of being the same and the other the other from above the chief that is regarded as something sacred and these slaves they are also sacred but in the negative sense and there is outside of the society that is also the other so all is stratificated all is differentiated all is put on the different ontological level of the same and the other. There is dual structure that now uh, prevails and not unified, uh, uh, all-encompassing um, understanding and uh, conception of the reality as in the pure ethnic, ethnostatic and at the dynamic stages. So, Ethno-kinetic stage is preparatory, uh, preparatory phase for uh, post-ethnic type of society that are more complex, more sophisticated, and that uh, possess totally new features comparing with ethnic society. So, ethno-kinetic processes are very important for us to study Precisely because th they prepare the uh, territory for uh, arrival of completely new kind of social organization that is not anymore homogeneous, uh, without social stratification, all inclusive, uh, sacred um, uh, in, in, the, in the person of the shaman and. Um, uh, and peaceful kind of ethnic society. Now we, uh, 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 there is important uh, shift to the irreversible type of differenti differentiated, exclusive uh, of type of, of warrior type uh, society. So now we Mm, are going to uh, to be in the presence of uh, a peer manifestation of totally new kind of the society when where that the time is not uh, circular uh, circular a anymore it is a kind of linear time because time also is split the society is split the reality is split there begins to appear any kind of duality between this society in the nature, between us and the other, between uh, the uh, human and not human, uh, between living and the dead. All kind of oppositions um, uh, have their roots in this ethno-kinetic moment of um, evolution or involution, as you like, of ethnic society. The ethnos approaches to its limit, passing from the ethnic structure to the uh, structure of the people of complex, sophisticated and social structured society precisely in this moment the first question i has for you, have for you professor dugan is as i was listening to your lecture i started to draw some connections between your um, uh, presentation of the other um, as changing uh, this ethno uh, static society 
uh, this idea of a fall from grace. I was drawing connections between the way you were talking about a theory of the ethnos and uh, some uh, theorists in liberal political theory. Um, particularly, I'm thinking of um, uh, Locke, Hobbes, and Rousseau, uh, and w they were speaking politically, not sociologically, but they were talking about a state of nature, um, and then uh, a move from the state of nature to a social contract that uh, uh, guaranteed the state. Um, now, when they were speaking about these things, they were speaking mostly in a figurative, theoretical sense. Not that there was ever really a state of nature or a uh, social contract that was signed, but that these were theoretical concepts to help us understand these uh, changes. Now, when you speak of, of the ethnos in this pre-society, um, you are speaking of, of, of a tribal world where uh, small groups of humans, homo sapiens, have no conception of the other uh, outside of that. But we know from archaeological, uh, anthropologic uh, uh, remains and so on, the humans spread across the world and were almost certainly, um, uh, even as early as the Neolithic period, in contact with each other. So uh, the question I have for you is, how much do you see your description of the ethno society as a actual uh, reading of prehistory, uh, and how much do you see it as a theoretical understanding? Uh, thank you for your question. Uh, I think, first of all, that uh, we are dealing with what uh, Max Weber called uh, ideal type. Mm -hmm. So. It is a kind of uh, uh, scheme, uh, so it is a kind of model, a uh, model that helps us to understand some important uh, social process. But we could also identify these kinds of society between different tribes of Amazonia, isolated tribes. Uh, isolated tribes. So, uh, the, uh, and what is important that is not so important the fact of the meeting between uh, two tribes, but the, how they consider, how they understand this fact of meeting. Because it could be the meeting of the same when the, the tribe considers the other as the same as itself, and assimilate it by such or such procedure, and we could uh, also understand that as a kind of the encounter with the other. So two type, and when we are talking about state of nature for the modernist, uh, for the modernist uh, uh, theory. Uh, modernist uh, political um, theorists and scientists, uh, they uh, don't uh, make difference mm -hmm. between ethnic and post-ethnic mm -hmm. uh, types of society. For them, all that is natural. Mm -hmm. But we make a very important sociological, uh, ethno-sociological difference because we could, we could have we could have uh, um, we could have um, very primitive and very savage society with warrior like uh, type of organization very primitive mm -hmm. and we could have the other type of society also primitive also savage but with shaman centric peaceful ethnic group so the, the level, the difference of the cultural development mm -hmm. could be more or less the same, but typology of the, both types, kinds of society is very different. And it is also empirical data that gives us uh, 
these two examples of these two kinds of society. There are a few tribes, primitive, that can uh, that do, uh, don't know the kings, the chief, uh, and they consider the world and the other tribes as the same, and conserving thus uh, the primitive or anesthetic concept of, of the world still. And it is not only reconstruction from the past, it is also the, the, uh, the product of real and contemporary experience. So we could uh, discover now in our world the tribes with such anesthetic attitude. And we could also find in our, also in our world, in modernity, uh, the tribes with uh, in the ethno kinetic stages with uh, chiefs, with slaves, and with the concept of the other. That is the difference that is theoretical, but also the, the difference of empirical types of society, and they exist now. That is not only reconstruction of ancient past. I actually think that that example is a very good argument in favor of your theory. The idea that thousands and thousands of years passed uh, where more uh, complex human societies are developed. We still find uh, these isolated tribes living in complete isolation that maintain this ethnos uh, pre-society uh, that you describe. And it shows uh, the uh, strength of your theory that it is this meeting with the other that began the process of social stratification and complexification. The fact that we can still find the ethnos and only in isolated tribes where they have no knowledge of the other. Exactly. But also, that is the uh, other important point, that the most important attitude consists in how we treat the other. If we recognize the other as the other, and the isolation is very good condition to develop or to conserve this uh, all-inclusive attitude to, towards the reality, but also it could be strong enough to win encounter of the other. Mm -hmm. So uh, um, that is good condition to conserve itself if the encounter is rare, mm -hmm. but it could be also the situation when uh, um, uh, we have two tribes and they meet from time to time the other. One could react uh, developing or, or applying to the other, the concept of the other, and the other in the same conditions could uh, 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 project on the other the concept of the same. So it depends also on some very deep structure of ethnic being, and that uh, it, it has not, uh, it, it is not directly linked to the fact that one uh, type of tribes uh, lives in isolation and the other not. Mm -hmm. So the encounter of two That's tribes could be interpreted differently, and where the uh, one tribe either conquers and assimilates the other or does not adept, uh, adopt the self-other situation, then a new social equilibrium is established and circular time reasserts itself. Exactly. Also, uh, we could say that we uh, could witness also reversibility from the irreversible actual time, uh, actual age societies with the uh, linear time, mm -hmm. uh, the return to the circular time, a, regression. Re a kind of regression, mm -hmm. 